Hi everyone, I'm Evelyn and today I just wanted to talk about the ATI T7 exam and how you could score really great on it. I scored a 94.7 and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of tips and tricks into how you guys can score really well too. I just really wanted to make this because when I was studying for it, I searched everywhere on the internet for every free resource that I could do in order to help me prepare for this exam so I just wanted to tell you guys the honest truth on like what works what doesn't work and what you guys can do to also achieve a really high score first and foremost I kind of just wanted to go over my stats a little bit because you're probably thinking why should I listen to this girl what does she even score um I scored a 94.7 overall I ended up scoring an 87.2 on the reading score a uh, 94.1 on the math 100% on the science section, and a 97 on the English language usage score. And before you go thinking like, oh, she, like I'm showing off or like, oh, she thinks she's smart. No, this was the second time I took it. I'm going to be honest. I took it twice. The first time I took it, I think I scored like an 80, maybe an 84 in the 80s. Um, but this was the second time I took it. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, this test is really, really hard. You're going to have to put in a lot of time. You're going to have to put in a lot of effort, a lot of study hours. Overall, in that study time, that period that I did, I think I put in about five months. I know what you're thinking, five months. Um, but it was necessary for me personally. I originally thought that I was only going to have to put in like six weeks or like a few weeks and I was going to be able to take this exam and score really high. But honestly, that's just not the truth. And if People are telling you that you can score really high in like one week. I genuinely don't believe like that's true. Unless you're really naturally smart. If you're honestly, if you're one of those people that just could read their information and like they got it. Fine. Totally fine. I personally, this is for the people who need to put in more time and more effort to know information and to feel confident. I have test anxiety. Like there's a lot of things that go into it. So just letting you know, I put in like about five months of study. And the first time I took it, I put in four months. And I took two month, a two month break between that because I couldn't put myself in that mental state again to like really put in that much time and effort. And then I took it again and I gave myself about like I think a month or so to do that the second time. So overall, I spent like five months on it. You really need to really fully understand yourself and where you are. What are your strengths? What are your weakness? How well do you feel prepared? When did you take your science courses? When did you take a math course? Like you really, really need to understand where your where your starting point is right and that way you can gauge what subject you can allocate more time to what subject maybe you shouldn't allocate that much time to for me personally the English language was I always knew that English was like a hard um subject for me like the language the grammar all of that it's always been really hard for me so I knew that I was gonna have to spend more time on it I ended up spending about like six weeks on that section alone when I thought I was gonna be able to get through it in two weeks like girl so I just wanted to preface that by saying you're going to have to spend a lot of time. I put in like six hours of studying a week. Uh, not a week, like not spread out. Like every single day I would put in like six hours. Sometimes I would do 12. Sometimes I would do eight hours. It really just depends on how much time you feel like you need and how much time it takes you to get through all this material. If you're someone who can like speed through it, honestly, good for you. But for me, I'm a little bit of a slower studier get distracted I fidget a lot as you can see anywho with all that being said let's talk about all the tips and tricks that I have for you that you can use and do for the exam so the first thing that I'm gonna suggest you do because this is what I did I bought the Momo Metrics book the ATI's T7 secrets book this book's really honestly gonna help you get that foundation of information that you're gonna need for the exam and this book is on it. It's thick. It's a thick book, but you're going to want to know this book from like top to bottom. And you're going to be reading halfway through and thinking like, I am so over it. You're really just going to have to push through and really just, um, just break it down by sections, break it down by weeks, you know, maybe the first few weeks you're going to do English. Then you're going to move on to math. Like don't try and like go top to bottom and just speed through it like really breaking down into weeks week one week one and two i'm going to do english and so you're gonna um really use this book to 
best of your ability. You're going to take notes on this book. But at the same time, you're supplementing your notes with this. They're going to have to go on YouTube, right? So you take your notes on each section. Let's say you're taking notes on the um, science section and you're doing cardiovascular system. You take your notes from this book on the cardiovascular system. You're going to go on YouTube. You're going to search up cardiovascular system review and you're going to take notes at the same time you're taking notes on this on those YouTube videos. So that's just going to further emphasize um, the material and it's going to further just help you understand because sometimes this is very dense and it's hard to get through. So when you see those videos of other people explaining it to you, it's just another way of digesting the information and just really making sure that you understand because again, this is kind of dense and sometimes you need just another person to really um, show you another way of learning that information. So when you take notes with this, you're going to have to supplement your note taking with YouTube. Search up for every section. It's going to feel like overkill, but you can never be too prepared. Every section, you're going to go on YouTube and you're going to take notes on that same section you just took notes on. I know. It's going to sound crazy. So once you finish taking notes on everything, like this book and everywhere, it's going to sound insane. You're going to have to retake, you're going to rewrite those notes that you just took. All of them. Rewrite all of them. Because when you rewrite something, it just helps you know and like understand and memorize that information more. So you're going to have to re take the notes that you already took. Even if it's like 500 pages of notes, you're going to have to rewrite those notes. Well, that's what I did. You don't have to, but I'm telling you what I did. And then once you rewrite those notes, you're going to go and use Quizlet. Quizlet is a great resource. Um, and you're going to convert all your notes into Quizlet. But you're going to break it down by section. You're breaking it down by the math. English, reading, biology, micro, chem. And just really make Quizlets for all of that. Review those. Use those as practice questions. Quizlet is another resource that I use for just searching up like, oh, T7 practice exam questions Quizlet. So you're really going to want to use Quizlet as a resource to make your own for your studies. Search up other people's. There's so many people out there that have made study sets. So honestly, if you don't want to make your own, you could you could find a lot of them on Google. If you Google like ATI's T7 English Quizlet. You can find those, but if you really want to be really prepared, make your own, search up others, study others, study your own, do all that. Another resource that I used was Facebook. So with Facebook, you're going to go and you're going to search up T7 um, groups and you're going to join them, join as many as you can. And you're going to go and like, just scroll through the, the Facebook groups because sometimes people who have just taken the exam will post things and topics that they saw on the exam and things that you should focus on. I remember I was focusing a lot on like the anatomy and physiology part because everyone had said that there's a lot of anatomy on the um, test. And then I go on Facebook and all these people who had just taken the exam were saying, oh, that there's more bio, there's more like chemistry. So I was like, shoot, now I have to rethink and reevaluate how I'm going to do my studies. And I emphasized a little bit more on biology and chemistry. And honestly, I can tell you right now that on the exam, when I took it both times, there was a lot more bio and a lot more chemistry and a lot more random questions. And you would think that there is apart from like anatomy and physio. You still need to know your anatomy and physio, but I would emphasize biology and chemistry just like a tiny bit more. Hormones. For the anatomy you know what if you want me to break down every section on like what you should study for and what's kind of on it i could totally do that but this is just kind of an overview after you have done your quizlets your notes and everything um i use tease mastery which is a app which just has a whole bunch of just like practice questions on like every section that you can use you have to pay for it but the app does offer about seven practice questions a day for free. So if you don't want to buy it, you could use that, those free questions, and just really practice the questions that you, like, if you really want to study the math, maybe just do the math ones um, every single day for those free seven ones. Or 
I think it was like $10 for the month or $5 for the month. I'm not sure. And just zoom through them. It's a really good resource to get just practice questions because after you have studied all your material, you really need to know if you're able to apply this material into questions because that is the only way you're going to be able to gauge if you're prepared for this exam because just knowing information isn't enough. You really have to just go through a lot of practice questions. So T's Mastery is something that I personally use. Also, this book offers a lot of practice questions, offers a lot of practice tests. I don't have a few in here. And after every section, I would take it. So once you take the exam, in the back, it'll tell you um, what questions are correct and which questions are incorrect. And you really need to read through that, understand why you got a question right, understand why you got a question wrong. Even if you're like, I know this question 100% is A, really just reread the explanation as to why the answer is A. Because you really need to fully understand these questions so that you know that the information that you read and um, your knowledge just kind of all matches up, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, what else? So you're going to have to do a lot of practice questions, like I said. Facebook, uh, take notes, YouTube. I also purchased the ATI's, ATI's study manual book. So I forgot how much that was, honestly, maybe like $30.00 on the ATI website but the ATI website is the website that gives the exam right so if the website that is giving you the exam makes a workbook of like all the topics that they're telling you you should study you should definitely study right I bought that one but I had already done so much studying prior to purchasing that book that I didn't necessarily take notes on it I read through every section answered every question because they also have practice questions and just kind of use that as supplemental but I would honestly highly recommend it just because it is a little bit different than this book but it's a really good uh, resource for you to use before you take the exam and along with the ATI website they also offer practice tests right they offer practice test A and practice test B and I want to say it costed around like $70. I'm not sure. It was a little bit expensive, but I honestly highly recommend that you purchase them because it'll show you how the test is actually structured because it's the same website giving the exam, right? It's going to show you how it's structured. It's going to give you the type of questions they're going to be um, asking you. Um, also, it just helps gauge where you're at. So when you take that full exam, that full practice exam, it's going to give you a score, right? So the first time I ever took the practice exams along with the first time I took the T's and the practice exams, I scored like an 84, an 83. And then the first time I took the T's, I got an 84. So honestly, it kind of really does give you the perfect gauge as to where you are at scoring wise. If you really want to know how much you're going to kind of score in the exam, buy those practice tests, take them and it will kind of really tell you where you're at it's not going to be like right down exact but it really does help you like gauge where you're at and where you need to like focus your studies because it will break down each section and how many like questions you got wrong in every section so <laughs> i know it's kind of a lot and you're really gonna have to spend a lot of time but honestly i think one of the best things you could do is search up a lot of free resources youtube is one of the greatest free resources that you could use to study Search up for science, for English, for every little thing. You need to go on YouTube and search um, review for this, review for that, and take notes on those. Because that's really going to be helpful for you. And also, uh, search up, go on Google and search up a lot of free practice exam questions. Because the more you practice, the better you're going to be prepared. And you really, after you study for so long, just dense material, you really need to be able to apply that into questions. So you got to take a whole bunch of practice questions and that's really just gonna help you be prepared for this exam because this exam they're kind of telling you this is what you should study but honestly everything's free game within that whole section what if you study a whole section and they only ask you one question from that section you just never know so you honestly kind of have to know a little bit of everything and just really just 
study every section so that you are prepared for any kind of question they throw at you and you can never be you can never study too much you can never be over prepared you could be under prepared but you can never be too over prepared so that is pretty much it and that is pretty much every resource that i use i used Momo metrics i used youtube i used facebook i used apps i used practice test i used the ata website I searched up free notes online. I wrote my notes. I rewrote my notes. I made those into Quizlets. So if you guys would like me to break down every section on like what you need to know for the science, what you need to know for the English, the reading, um, I could totally do that for you guys. And also if you would like to purchase my notes, I could all, I'm also willing to do that and send you just like literally everything that i have on my ipad which is like 43 a lot of things right a lot of resources but with that being said i don't have the best handwriting i'm not the most organized they're not going to be pretty so that's up to you if you guys want that from me i could totally do that for you but if you don't just use the other resources that i told you about and just know if you're thinking like oh should i spend money on like this workbook momo metrics and the ATI study manual and practice test. That is all I would suggest you spend your actual money on. Um, but yeah, 